hello and welcome to my channel. So today we're going to do my thread update from my fall and winter project pan. If you guys don't know what it is, it's a project pan that I didn't really create it but decided to do. I've been doing this for quite a few years and the reason it's called the fall and um, fall and winter project pan is because I base around my skin type. Like I said in many videos, my skin is very dry less oily during those times. So I decided to pick products that is more pore filling, glowing, stuff like that that actually works a lot better. And then when my spring and summer project pan comes around I am more mattifying. I still do pore filling but more matte because my skin is a lot more oily. So I use more of that type of stuff. So yeah. Um, in a couple of months, in March, will be my finale for this. And you guys will see in the intro to the Spring Assemble when officially it starts. So, um, I may be using the same products, but I may use the products that I picked out more when it gets more hot and I get more oily and my skin gets to that point. Um... I did decide um, to declutter a couple of things from this because either number one, it dried out or uh, the tone of it was too light. I just didn't look right anymore. So I'm going to go through my list. I have a whole book full of stuff that I have. I was marking these down, but I decided not to do that anymore. I decided this year I'm just going to use my products. I'm just going to decide that, you know, if I make progress, good. If I use it all, good. If I use most of it, good. You know, either way, I just want to see progress. Either way, you know, if it means it looks less, I got holes or windows, then I know I'm doing a good job and I know that I'm using my products. Only wear makeup twice a week because I do, like I said, work a lot. So, I don't wear makeup at work, like I said, play of times. So this is really the only time I use our products on the way out on special occasions and things like that. So let's go ahead and get started. The first one is the e.l.f. primer. I have two of the e.l.f. primer. One is a luminizing, one is a pore filling. I was going to put the pore filling one on my face. Everything I have on my face will be down below the description box and I have some of these products on too. But I decided on the Lumi one because like I said, I wanted more um, Lumi, more glowy, more hydrating type products. But I went out earlier today. I had to go do some of my husband. So I had to put some sunscreen. And the sunscreen that I used was the Super Goop Unseen one. This one right here. This is very good for like a primer, uh, you know, if you wanted to use that as a primer, it's also a very good sunscreen, so I decided to use that as my primer today. But anyways, this is what it looked like. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, as you can see, I have used some of it. It's not, like I said before, a very glowy type primer, but I am going to keep this, I am going to keep using it, and... All of that. I may use it in the summer when I want to feel extra glowy, not oily. If I use like a mattifying um, spray, a mattifying powder, this could work really well. But this I only do like. This is my poreless one, which I love using. It's a very smoothing type one. As you can see, I got more use out of it than the Lumi one because this feels really good and makes me feel very smooth like the Super Goop um, sunscreen. You've got that same type of quality and this I use all year long no matter what the weather is like and like I said during summer if I use more some mattifying products then it does work a lot but my goal is to hit pan on these. I always hit pan on the mattifying ones so I want to hit pan on these two. I have two more months to get it done. And I'll probably put the mattifying and probably the poreless one. I will give you guys an intro and talk more about it the closer that it gets to that project pan and the end of this one. Next is the foundation. 
One is the Covergirl Simply, Simply Age Wine One. Got a lot of acid, vitamin C, and all that look like this. As you guys can see, I am literally moving up. Let me get the light. But like you guys can see, I am literally moving up. It's right here. Like right there. It has like a little pump. So anytime you press the um, button on uh, the pump, it goes up. And I really do like this. I had something like this, the older version when it first came out. I really liked it. I used it all up. It was my main foundation. I used it to look great on me. And now that I'm getting a lot older, which I'm still shocked how old I'm getting this year. <sighs> Anyways, I need more um, age type products like skincare, foundation, and things like that. It makes me look not old or wrinkly, but gets away the fine line, gets away the wrinkles and things like that. Like, my face right now is not at that point with skin lot of wrinkles. A lot of time when people see me, they think I am in my 20s, I'm in my 30s. Early 30s, late 20s. That ain't the case. It's great. I love it. And I like the fact that we have good skin in our family. I like the fact that the women in our family always has good skin and always looks good and everything and don't really do that much stuff to keep it from looking really wrinkly and you know get those lines and everything so I like using products like this I like the fact that I have as you can see like right here is where it was and this is how much it went up and I'm so happy that I'm getting more use out of this and really do like it the other one is the Milani Glowing one. This I do want to finish. There is some windows, as you can see. But this is more like a very hydrating type um, glowy foundation, which, again, great for this time of the year. Great for my skin type now, for now. So, I do like it. I do. It's in the shade um, 100, 110 Glow. Fair Delight. And, like I said, it's a very glowy type of foundation. And I do like it. I don't hardly like any, like, glowy foundations. And right now it's a little too deep for me because I'm not as tan as I am during the summer and spring when I'm more on the sun. Well, now, today, actually, while I'm filming, we're actually having some sun. We have not had a really bad like extremely bad winter weather so far which I'm so grateful for it be kind of like off and on and I think we're gonna have a little early spring the way that the weather's going but this is like the shade and everything it's a lot deeper than what it looks on camera but I love the glow like it gives you as you can see that glow and I do like that. I do like the fact that it's glowy, give you hydration, and makes you look glow within. A lot of people don't like it, especially oily, but I personally do. I just, I am. Okay, the next one for concealer. One, like I said, I am decluttering. I am going to take it out, but because it is a concealer and because I can roll this into a next project pan and possibly my spring and summer project pan. I decided to put a Casilla in this one. This one is, the first one was the Private Society Cover Casilla. It's in the fan light. It's way too light for me. I have it on, and when I put it on today to film, it felt really sticky, really dry, like it went bad to a point that I can't use it anymore. It's not as creamy as it was and the shade is way too light. So I'm going to declare this and everything and replace it with the Boing Kateless Casilla, which I really do like. This is in shade um, number three. I really do like it. I only went through a tube of this. This is the second one. I have a mini one. This is one of my favorite Casillas that I discovered a while when it first came out and so yeah I mixed it together to give my skin a little more hydration and does and not look so dry underneath my eyes 
So, um, yeah. I like it. I really do. So, this is going to be in my project pan. And probably in my next one when that comes up. So, that's this is my placement. The next thing in my goal, of course, is to finish. Because, technically, I do have a lot of sealers this year. My goal is to kind of get through my makeup this year. Stuff may happen in the middle of this year. So, I'm in the process of decluttering and organizing and getting stuff right of that I don't need. That is makeup, non-makeup, clothing like that. If you guys want to see me um, film something like that, like declutters that is not makeup, that is more, you know, using stuff, getting wet stuff, you know, start fresh this year and everything, then comment that down below and give this video a thumbs up if you guys want to see anything like that. I could film it. I could film to, you know, clear out my closet, give away some stuff there, or, you know, stuff that I really don't need. I have drawers full of stuff that I need to probably get rid of also. So if you guys want to see anything like that, like I said, give it a thumbs up, and I could do that in next filming, I you know, in the past few months. Because, like I said, things might change, and... We are planning, hopefully, 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 planning on moving this year when me and my son get tax money. And if that happens, I'm going to have to literally start getting rid of stuff and start declining stuff and start figuring out what I want to keep or what I don't want to keep. So, I could film that in the next few months. And just, like I said, give me a thumbs up if you guys want to see me do any of that. So, if you guys are interested, just all that. Okay. Next is the Sydney powder. This powder, you guys know, is my Lily Holy Grail powder. Um, it is a Wearmel Stay Matte. You guys know I love this. This is my second one. As you can see, they're hauling any, um, there will used to be imprint. There's hardly any imprint on this, as you can see. So, yeah, my goal is to hit pan, is to actually finish one of these. The, I had to get a new one because it kind of broke, and it's kind of breaking, like, right there, as you guys can see. But I really do like this. Something I use all the time during the summer when I know my skin is that extra oily. The next one, actually, on my face is the Fit Me Loose Setting Powder in Fair Light. This, I'm still at the same line, so... Having went down again, like I said, I'm more into alumini, hydrating, glowy type things this time. Like I said, I'll have more progress during the um, summer. Probably again, I'll probably put this in my summer and spring and summer project pan. Just get more use out of it and everything. My goal is to actually get rid of some of my loose powders and I'm more loose than press. And press take forever to get through. Like, as you can see. So, yeah. The next is the spray. So, this one I have on. And you can see I do have lines. But... I do have a line, but it's right below this one right here. I may mark it. I may wait till I get a little bit lower to actually mark it so it won't be right on top. So it's just right below that line. This one is literally feel like it's almost gone. I feel like I have probably this much left. Again, my goal is to finish this, especially this one right here. Again, not one of my favorites setting sprays of all time this one i love to finish and once i get lower setting spray i want to buy the full side this is the best setting spray ever that again i discovered the poor professional super say best high-end setting spray and of course you guys know my milani and my best drug store spray so i've had some really good sprays past few years that i really do enjoy that works as well in my milani that is a little bit more pricey but it's worth it like I said, I'm going to go finish it. Next is the Patra Ta. This is for the powder and cream. So my goal is to, like I said, in every project pan, I always put a powder cream in it. Because, I, again, I have so much cream products that 
I need to get more use out of it. And I discovered last year, and I've known this, that I'm not a really big cream person. They're beautiful. They're amazing. I have, like, the blush on that I'll be talking about. Cream blush. But, um... I just... There's certain type of creams that I just need to enjoy and love so I can use it over and over again. But yeah, this is one of them. This is a Patrick Ta Contour Bronze and Powder and she sculpted. My goal is to hit pan on at least the cream part of it. This is a beautiful cream. Very blendable. I love when it can look like actually got cheekbones when I use it. It does very good sculpting those out and I was going to put it on today, but of course, I put on powder. And I prefer not to put cream over powder, even though some of you can. This is great under powder. Not over, in a way. So, yeah. I just really do like this. And I really, like I said, want to get more use out of it. Not because it's a cream and I don't like it. It's because I just really do want to get more use out of it and enjoy it and... You know, because I really do like Patrita. It's an expensive brand. I bought it with my own money. I enjoy it. And I, like I said, want to get more use out of it and not waste my money. And I have become a very big Patrita fan. Okay. Next is for actual one. For the powder one, it is LYS. You guys know when this first came out, became my major holy grail. There is some use on it, no dip, anything like that, but, like I said, it became another holy grail. You guys, I put this in my favorites, I put this, I told you it became a holy grail, I told you that it was in, I got it, I cannot put it down, and all of that. I'm not using it, I'm using a different, um, bronzer, I'll show you that too, but if I had no other bronzer, and this is my only one, I would enjoy it for every day, all the time. I wouldn't get tired of it. I wouldn't get bored of it. Okay, next my highlight is the Perfusion, which I do have this on me. For the cream part of it, oh, let's do blush, sorry. I always go in order. Blush, um, this is a blush I have on. You guys can't really see because of my light. But if you guys notice, like, the really pinky right here it is a very pigmented i put a little too much on but this is something that i do want to finish i have hit major pan in it this is the sophie and maybelline cream it calls red blush in bubbly so you guys can see i have major pan on this but i want to finish it it's a very beautiful like cream to powder type one and like i said it is very pigmented, but very beautiful. So, this is the color. But my goal is to finish it, and I will be happy to finish a cream product. And that way I can move on to my more cream products and hopefully finish that. For the powder version of it, it is the Buxom course in Wonderless, a fused primer in Dolly. But I have got some use out of it. It is a very beautiful winter type blush. I like using it during this time of year. My goal of course to pan and then like I said for highlight. Same concept as the blush cream. This is more of a powdered cream type one. It dries down is what I have on my cheekbones. Like I said, I have already hit pan, but my goal is to finish it. It is a very, like, moussey powder to cream type 1. Like I said, I enjoy it. I don't got hardly anything for perfusion, but when I got did a full face using perfusion makeup, that was one thing that actually blew my mind that I really enjoy and glad to have. Like, these are cream products that I don't mind having. I don't mind using, but there's some cream products I literally could just get rid of and be like, okay, I don't need it. Okay, next is... Oh, I got eyebrow. 
This, again, is another category that I am going to place. Like I said, this is something I use all the time. People use eyebrow products all the time, so I like I'm not going to put another one in. Just saying. But this one right here, the ABH um, Brow Tint, I think it's called. Yeah. Amia Brown. This, I think I'm completely done with. I was thinking about putting the stopper, take the stop out, but I decided, nah, never mind. I have plenty of brow products, so. That is done and over with. actually did complete a project, uh, complete a product in this pan. So, yay! I'm so happy. The thing about this is that the fall and winter is spring and pan, not a very long one, like the yearly one that I have. It's more like a few months and then I'm on to the next. So, I don't have much time to really get through those products. Unless I'm using it every single day when I make up all the time. But, like I said, I constantly work. So, on, you know, social occasion. So, yeah. And, like, I have tons of opportunity to have a chance to wear makeup all the time. Okay, next, to replace the brow wiz, uh, this is the e.l.f. one. This I've been trying to pan for so long. I am almost literally done with it. I have this in my eyebrow. I love this. And me and brown. So I have literally this much left. It's small. Like, I don't know why I haven't went through it already. It's still creamy, still pigmented. This is something that I probably will get done this year. And it will be my first a second brown pencil done and then I have my ABH which I need to get done with that because that is just got a tiny bit left too so yeah my goal is to get one of this one and to get one of the brown one go through my other ones and then when I repurchase a brown product it'll probably be the elf one or maybe the ABH one or trying some new brow products so we'll see what happens this year and how many I get through so, I think the last thing is, well, lips. And then I got a few other, um, okay. So, I only got two more things and one I've only talked to you about, which was a brow product. So, for lips, I decided to pick out a few lip products just to see how many I get through. I didn't put a whole bunch in all of that. So... The ones that I have 10 lip products. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, so these are ones I have. I have two of them, but I think some of them probably got lost off bad. And they are small, right? So I automatically got rid of them. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now I have seven brow products, I mean lip products, to try to see if I get through. So I'm just going to tell you what I have and... I'll show you the one that I have on my lips, but the other ones I'll just tell you. So the one on my lips is from Shan. I had a whole bunch of these, but I declined a lot of them because either the colors I wouldn't wear are colors that I just had too many of. So this is called Hoot Water High, uh, Hoot High, something like this. But that's what I call it, along with a ColourPop lippy pencil. It's a very, like, orangey red. So, this one on my lips, it actually looks very good and matches with the lip pencil. So, that is one of them. The other ones are the ColorStay Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Take Flight. So it's like a little lippy pencil, you use it as a lipstick, you can use it as a lip pencil, you know, whichever way. I like that. Then we have the Revlon Ultra Matte one in 
high HD addiction. This is something I might end up getting rid of because the smell is starting to go off. So I think by the end of this project pan, I think I'm going to clear this. Um, got the Too Faced Melted Matte and Pumpkin Spice. Of course, you guys know this is the color. It still smells like pumpkin spice. So this is still good. Like I said, this is more like a fall, winter type one. So I do like it. And I like the fact that pumpkin spice. I did get the palette, guys, now. The next one is the call Sugar Matte as Hell Crayon Lipstick in Violet. Again, it's like a lipstick, a lip pencil. Again, you could always... I think there's a shopping one, too. Ooh. That I didn't realize. Yeah, that or... I really think I almost started with this. Let's see. I don't think I could shop in it. Because it has like the plastic all over it. But I'll go ahead and swatch. But yeah, it's a very creamy, creamy, creamy lip product. I think once I get down to it, I think this is something that I'll actually be done with. Yeah, it's a crayon lipstick, so we will see. But they... You know, that will be quite as awesome. Next is a Clinique um, Lippy. It's like a lip gloss, lipstick type thing, lip balm, and black honey. That's what it look like. Very beautiful. Not pigmented, but really do like that. And then the last is the Perfect Tone Matte Lip Cream by Black Radiant. And this is the color, so that it. And then the last thing is the palette. Oh, also, I am going to be declaring. Oh, I do have a lip gloss, sorry. That I do have on me, sorry. Um, it is the Illa Musk Clear Lip Gloss in Glaze. You can see there is windows. So I have that. So technically, I do... have eight instead. So like I said, two of them must has went bad and all that, so that's part of the reason. One I am decluttering. This is the Dandelion Mini um, Highlight for Trinkly only because it is literally broken. I don't want to deal with it, so I am going to declutter this. I'm not going to put another highlighter in this, so yeah. So that's going to be decluttered for that reason. And I think the last two things is the palette and then like a face palette. So I decided to put in one face palette to get more use out of these. This is the Pacifica Matte and Blush Bronzer in Desert Heat. This is the bronzer I have right here on. I don't have the blush because like I said, the other blush is very pigmented. I don't need to be like a clown here. But it's a very beautiful like orangey type blush. And this is the bronzer. I like the bronzer. It's very cool tone. It's not as deep. But that is the blush right there. So, yeah. I just wanted to get more use out of it. Again, to see if I have tan. Because, like I said, I have a whole bunch of face palettes that I need to seriously get through. I'll use some more of. So again, another category I'm not really a big fan of and that I don't really use. So I will not be buying any face palettes this year of any kind. I need more cream products. No matter how good they look. Because, like I said, I need to get through what I have. Um, and then for palettes, one of my oldest palettes is the Soft Glam. You guys know I love this palette. Is used, is abused. I have rose pink all over my lid, which is this color right here. Very beautiful, as you can see. Um, also have rustic in the crease, and then I put the perfusion um, highlighter, cream highlighter, in my own corner. 
and then temperance on my brow bone. So this is really good. I'm going to keep using it. I love it. I love the colors and everything. I should have used Noir for the eyeliner, which I'll do that next time. But this is a very beautiful shade. It's just one of those ones that I really do enjoy. So that is everything in my third update for my fall and winter. Like I said, in two more months, it will be a finale and an intro to my spring and summer. So get prepared for that and get ready. If you guys missed any of my intro for my 2023 yearly project plan, I will link that. Uh, get Put that in the cards above. You guys can see my intro and what I picked out just in case you missed it. And I will see you next time. Hope you guys have a lovely day and night. And again, if you guys want to see any video on me decluttering and doing decluttering, fresh start, getting wet some stuff, you know, that's not makeup related, then like I said, give it a thumbs up and you give it a thumbs up just in case I know you guys like the video. And don't forget to hit the notification bell down below. That way you guys know I upload every weekend. And until then, have a lovely day and night. And everything on my face will also be down below. So check that out. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.